Hi, welcome to this latest episode of Lightboard Lessons. And today, we're gonna to finish our talk on local traffic manager load balancing algorithms. And today, we're gonna to talk about the fastest, observed, and predictive algorithms. And fastest might be a little bit of a misnomer uh, when you look at what it actually does. And so, its selection mechanism is the uh, pool member or the node, uh, so we can We've already had the pool member node discussion um, with the least number of outstanding um, L7 requests. Okay, so obviously that requires an L7 profile. So you need to have TCP and, L and an L7 profile attached to your, um, your VIPs. L7 TCP profile. And if you have one connect enabled, the idle connections do not factor into that load balancing decision. And the use case for this is distributed, uh, distributed systems. So if you have your big IP and say you, you do have some pool members here in a local, um, local to the, the LTM, but maybe you have some other systems out here and, and your pool members are uh, significantly further away. So maybe this is a, you know, a five millisecond environment and to get over to these other systems, maybe you're at around 60 milliseconds. And so as those requests come in, your LTM will distribute those and say, um, you know, all these servers themselves may perform the uh, the job of getting a request and returning a request, but the LTM is keeping a counter for each one of these pool members or, or nodes. And so if I have a counter for these four systems, and my server one has an outstanding counter of five, uh, server two, let's say seven, and then three, and four, maybe I have 11 outstanding and four has 13, okay? The least number of outstanding requests is going to be uh, pool member uh, number one, and so he's going to get the next request. And so it's not necessarily a performance of the server issue, it's a performance of the network behind the, the LTM, which is what this is handling. And so distributed systems is, is a good use case for fastest. Okay, and then let's talk about observed. The observed is uh, effectively dynamic ratio in that it is using a, a dynamic ratio to establish which pool member is going to, or, or node is going to get the request and it's using the greatest ratio. The difference is with dynamic ratio, if you recall, uh, uses a health monitor. But with observed, it's using system traffic and what it's doing is it's taking a look at the active number of uh, L4 connections. And so it's taking uh, that data, um, it's recording that, Uh, every second and then it's, it's doing that for the whole pool so if I have a snapshot here of my pool members and and say I have three active connections here five action active connections here and seven active connections here with observed it's going to build a ratio for each of these and obviously the ratio that it's going to build is going to be greater for here because it has in this snapshot of time, it, um, and, and I will say that this is a snapshot view of the data. So it looks at that, that active uh, L4 connections every second, and so when a new connection comes in, it's looking at the last second's data, and so this is that snapshot. So it's, it's gonna look here at my three pool members and my least is here, 
So it's going to increase the ratio. Um, uh, it's going to make a bigger ratio here. And then on my, uh, my pool member with the, the most number of connections, it's going to be a smaller ratio. And then you know, the one in the middle is going to be somewhere in the middle. And you can, in, uh, you can enable your, uh, your debug data um, on, your, uh, on your system to be able to look at how all of these ratios uh, come into play. Uh, you can also uh, take a look at your Wireshark data and see the flow of, of connections as they uh, increase and decrease uh, with observed and predictive. And we'll get to predictive here in a second. Uh, but one thing to note is this is not recommended. for large pools. But it is doing a dynamic ratio, not on health monitors, so I should put a, a scratch through that. Not health monitors, it's using the system data, um, taking counters of the active number of L connections and building that ratio for you. And then predictive is observed over time. So whereas, uh, you know, observed is a snapshot, predictive is taking a delta of interval data. And so as the delta increases, your ratio will decrease. And as the delta decreases, your ratio increases. And so, you know, I'll, oh, and I should have the, the level case, uh, delta, uh, no change uh, both ways. So if the delta is same, if it equals same, then no change. And so, um, you know, these are the, the final three in our series. Uh, these are maybe, uh, especially these two, um, less used. Um, and again, because predictive is effectively observed, not recommended for large pools. Um, but, you know, there you go. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Thank you for joining me for this three-part series. We'll also be doing the, the global load balancing series. Um, and so join us next week. We look forward to seeing you out there in the community. If you enjoyed this video, click subscribe. And uh, thank you.